We are talking Texas recruiting now. We're going down to Austin, where Texas and UGA face off. One versus five matchup, a big one. And there's going to be dozens of top recruits on campus from the 25, 26, 27 class. Uh, Steve, let's start off with some of the five-star visitors that are going to be on campus this weekend in the 2025 class. None other than starting with Justice Terry because the defensive lineman from Georgia is going to be making his official visit to Texas. And the Longhorns, I think they got some work to do in this recruitment. What do you think? There's no question. Sometimes every cycle we see prospects that go out there and just take their trips and enjoy the experience that they earn through their hard work. Uh, but look, this is an opportunity for Texas to make a statement against the program that we favor for Justice Terry in the Georgia Bulldogs. They're the heavy favorite for the in-state product out of Manchester High School. He's been committed to Georgia before. This is one where we see this recruitment come in full circle, but Texas getting a chance to swing their shot. And we've seen programs take their shot this cycle and win big recruitments. Ty Jackson, our number one ranked linebacker from Florida, took an official visit to USC in September and was committed to the Trojans by the end of the weekend. Now, I'm not predicting that's going to happen with Justice Terry, but you never know how the needle's going to move. And Texas has got a lot of things going for them on the recruiting trail right now for what they're doing on the field and what they have going from an infrastructure standpoint. So we'll see how things go for Justice Terry this weekend as he heads out to Austin to watch Texas take on the program we think is in pole position in Georgia. Hmm. All right, a couple other names of interest. I mean, we see Joseph Mbachu here. We know he's been taking a bunch of visits. Javion Hilson, he's been trending to Texas for a while. He's back on campus. We'll see if they can close. But what about Riley Pettijan? He's from the state of Texas, committed to Ohio State during the summer, and it seems like it's been pretty quiet on that front, at least between Pettijan and the Longhorns. But what does this weekend mean with him showing up in Austin? Well, special talent, electric linebacker, committed to Ohio State. We knew the in-state programs weren't going to go away. Texas and Texas A&M continue to try and battle for Riley Pettijan, and it's no surprise that he's going to end up visiting Texas for a game this fall. And look, again, we'll see what happens as, as – uh, things get closer to signing day and it's time to ultimately decide, am I going to go away from home or am I going to stay closer to home and play the kind of the same caliber of football that you can get uh, anywhere in the country? I mean, Texas is the number one team in the country. They're clicking on all cylinders right now. They got national championship goals. They're developing players on both sides of the ball and they want to get Riley Pettijan inside the stadium to soak up this atmosphere and see how they stand up against a Georgia team. That's kind of been the standard in college football alongside Alabama for the last six, seven years. All right. So is it fair to say, though, that there isn't really a lot going on between Pettijan and Texas and this visit could be the catalyst to us talking about it moving forward? Or has well, there been something going on behind the scenes that we just don't know about? Well, it's an opportunity for Coach Sarkeesian and company to get in person with Riley mm -hmm. Pettijan and his family, for him to get around the commits in the Texas class, for him to get around the fans that are certainly going to add to the experience for him. They're going to do some fan recruiting for these recruits that are on campus. Look, I think Riley Pettijan is very happy with his decision to play at Ohio State, to play for a guy like James Laurinaitis, who was one of the best linebackers in college football in his day, played in the NFL, now doing a good job coaching with the Buckeyes. But look, Texas is going to do what they can to flip the elite players in their state. And Riley Pettijan is one that they've never gone away on. All right. Now, Michael Terry, the five-star athlete, the number one athlete in America is also going to be on campus. This is kind of been shaping up since the season started into a Texas-Nebraska battle. Uh, he's been to both campuses already this season. Do you think he'll be back at Nebraska one more time before he makes a decision? Or could Texas end it this weekend? Well, I think that Texas is the program to beat. Will he take some more visits following this trip to Texas? I haven't heard one way or the other, but I, I know coming into the fall that Texas has, had, had really put themselves in pole position for Michael Terry because of the ways they want to use him in off, uh, on the offense. You know, he's a versatile player that can do some things for you out of the backfield. He can f catch the football. He's physically ready to play uh, college football right now. And, and his relationship with Coach A.J. Milwee, Tashar Choice, and company has put Texas in prime position he feels comfortable around the players on the team the recruits and and uh he's going to be back in texas this weekend and i mm -hmm. talked to his dad last week and he said results not going to matter for this game so even okay. if georgia comes into uh, texas and gets a win you know, uh, 
the results on the field. You know, they believe in Texas and, and where this program's at and think they're going to be at the top of the mountain for years to come. And I think uh, for all those reasons, they're at the top of this recruitment. Now, Nebraska is a mm -hmm. scary program to, to battle uh, when they're sitting in that two or three position, because I think they've shown that they can make up a lot of ground in a hurry with with the you know the trajectory of the program under Matt Rule and their own infrastructure, and they're they're also taking some swings at some high profile guys committed to some other programs. They lurk for Michael Terry, but I like where Texas stands. Mm. All right, now one that we talked about earlier in the week on the Wilt Fong Whip Round on Monday was defensive lineman Kevin Wynn from the state of Georgia, committed mm -hmm. to FSU. But coming out of that USC visit last weekend for the Penn State game, you thought the Trojans were in pole position to land Kevin Wynn if and when he flips from Florida State. This weekend, he's in Austin. We know Texas is a program that's been trying to work on flipping Kevin Wynn. What are you hearing into this visit? Well, I love the way Texas has been attacking the trenches since Steve Sarkeesian and company have been hired. And we're seeing the fruits of those labor on the field. And they just know how important it is to be stout up front on both sides of the ball. They recruit some of the biggest offensive linemen in the country year in and year out. And they've done a fabulous job uh, changing the culture and recruiting difference makers on the defensive line. That's why guys like Kevin Wynn are interested. I think that USC is the one to beat coming out of that visit to Southern Cal last weekend. But this has been a fluid recruitment. He's committed to Florida State. But South Carolina's had momentum. Georgia's had momentum. Now it's USC with momentum. We'll see what happens in Austin with his next visit. All right, Steve, we know there's going to be a bunch of talented 2026 prospects on campus, including committed quarterback Dia Bell. So he's going to be there helping to recruit. Who else from the 2026 class do you think Texas fans need to know about? Well, there's a ton of great players visiting Texas this weekend. You got the number one linebacker in the country, Tyler Atkinson. On three's number one running back, Javian Osborne is back. He's looking at Texas and Michigan, among others. So uh, there's going to be a lot of guys that are inside the stadium that are ultimately going to be wearing the burnt orange and cotton game change this could be a game changing experience for some of those guys as recruitments and maybe even accelerate some things for a few of these young men yeah absolutely all right steve give me your prediction texas georgia saturday night in austin who you got i got the bulldogs they didn't play the way they wanted last time they were on the field at night in a big road game against alabama i think they play much better from start to finish and i like georgia over texas in a close one all right, I'm taking Texas at home. I think they have the best roster in college football until you prove it to me. Otherwise, you guys, let us know. Comment section below who you got, Georgia or Texas, Saturday. Let us know.